Well, if it isn't the Dovkies. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Haven't seen you guys in such a long time. Yeah, a couple of years, I think. Yeah. And I heard you had a lot happen here. Oh, yeah. it was crazy. Your encounter happened at this location? Happened at this campsite right here where we're at. All right, well, tell us what happened. It was on an outing last August. Actually, somebody had seen a Bigfoot that night. Uh, so we had uh, all gathered together to hear the story. At about 2 o'clock in the morning, people went back to their campsites. And I walked it up to the tent. I sat down, I zipped the tent. And I heard right away shuffling it around my tent. And then the sides of the tent started to shake. And then and I heard it walk that way out of the campsite. And how long did the pushing go on for? It was a, probably a good minute and a half. It got to a point where the entire tent was going, wow. It felt like a message, like, OK, go home now. We're tired of you. Like, if something wanted to, someone or something wanted to get in, they could have got in. You said all this stuff happened after someone had seen a Sasquatch earlier that day. Tell us about that sighting, please. We have a trail. And since we had had activity down that trail the year before, we tried a tactic. One group went in first, making all sorts of commotion with the handheld laser light show. Wow. And the other group came in a few minutes later, not really quiet, but certainly not making commotion. And one of the fellows just happened to look to the left. And as he did it, he says a four-foot Sasquatch pretty much glided across that trail. And he says it made no sound, but it was clear. It was about 12 feet away from him. Oh, boy. And at that point, everybody could hear it scamper down and take off down through the woods. How many sightings are you aware of that have happened in, say, a five-mile radius of where we're standing now? Seven, I think, in the immediate area. And we're having concurrent activity in one spot and then many miles away in another spot. OK. Well, and there was the night that we took the kids out. We were all covered in glow sticks. And we made a lot of noise. And we were singing and having fun, just doing a night hike. Coincidentally, I was with another group that was within ear's distance of them. After about a half an hour that we'd been out there, we had five knocks inside of five minutes. When was the most recent activity at this location that you know of? About a week ago. We were actively looking for tracks. We come around a bend in the road, and we could clearly see a disturbance in the roadway up in front of us. We walked up and you could see a heel. You could see definitely a big toe. You could see how when it had landed, it had grabbed the ground and kicked back. So we took pictures on a, on a phone here. Beautiful. So foot down and then shh, like yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> OK, well, so this is about, what, 13 inches long, maybe 14? I don't see the toe detail, unfortunately, you were saying, but it is a photograph. And footprints are very difficult to photograph in the ground. We do know that uh, whatever made that had a wide foot. So that eliminates say, something like a deer, for example. So we're probably looking uh, bear or Sasquatch. Jen and Larry are sharing story after story from right here in this area. I mean, some of these are really recent. There could be Squatches here right now. Well, I think that's a no-brainer. This is a spot to be tonight. Would you guys like to join us? That sounds like yeah. a great idea. We're at Larry and Jen's favorite location. They've had action for two years in a row. And they're saying there's two different spots up here. So we're going to split up into two different teams. Larry and Renee and I are going to go to one spot. Jen and Bobo and Quiff are going to go to the other. It's going to look for prints. Larry and I were talking about prints in the mud and like wondering if prints in the mud only happen on accident. I think they may happen on purpose sometimes. Well, I don't well, step in mud because I don't like to have muddy feet. They don't blink Barefoot or not. You don't think so? They avoid mud because they don't want to leave tracks, not because they care about stepping in mud. Yeah, but uh, on other occasions, they might purposefully leave tracks in places that are easily seen for other Sasquatches. That makes sense. Shh. Oh, the mosquito went in my ear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
One key thing about what's happened here before is when people got action, they weren't trying to be quiet on the way in, and they weren't making Bigfoot calls. So I want to try something a little more human sounding. Hey, yeah, Renee. Right yeah. Remember how you used to do the Yoo-Hoo? Yeah. Like a real sultry, beckoning, loud Yoo-Hoo. <laughs> First of all, you who is not sultry, but I'll do a you who. Well, you can make it sultry. <laughs> How about you who? You know? Now, is that sultry? Come on. <laughs> I don't you know think how that's to do sultry. It. Sassy, sultry, whatever you want. Yeah, that's not sultry, it's sassy. All right, here we go. Listen. Listen. Shh. Hold on. Did you hear that, Matt? I'm hearing like it's almost like a little high pitch. Yeah. Is that a coyote? Bar? I wonder if it's a loon. I'm gonna do one of my coyote calls. Okay, here we go. doesn't sound like a loon. It doesn't sound like the, the coyote noise that was made. It sounded like it could be a Sasquatch. You know what? We got to do an inchworm. Sure. I'm going to go ahead, about 100 yards. I will snap for you, then you guys can go past me again. The inchworm is when one part moves ahead first and then stops, and then the other part catches up, just like an inchworm along a branch. The idea is one team is moving while somebody else is holding still so they can hear if something is following. Okay, I didn't see anything or hear anything. Let me walk ahead again. Let's do it a couple more times. We haven't heard anything in a while now. But what I can say is, this is the sort of area where a Bigfoot would feel very comfortable because there's a zillion places where it can be out of view very quickly. So we're gonna continue to inchworm our way back to the other team. Maybe they had better luck. There they are. Hola. How'd it go? I think this right now is the most noise we heard all night. Aw. Really? Yeah. We did hear some coyotes, and we heard some strange things, although the strangest thing I didn't hear myself. Yeah, it sounded like somebody was trying to imitate yeah. Matt's coyote. It was definitely odd. I think there's something up here, man. There's so many little tidbits here and there over the last couple years in particular. So I'm going to take the next few days and nights to really dig in deep here and look around to see what I can discover.